Welcome everyone to the Nutanix Files Architecture Series. My name is Mike McGee with Nutanix Tech Marketing, and in this first video of the series, we're going to talk about the basics of the Nutanix Files architecture. The Nutanix Files architecture starts with the core Nutanix platform. At a base, we're going to have some physical nodes or physical hardware. Because Nutanix is software defined, it can really be any hardware under the covers. We have a dynamic spec sheet to give you an idea of the different vendors we support, but we can support HPE, based nodes, Dell, Lenovo, super micro based as a part of our NX architecture as well. So you have some number of physical nodes in the environment. Anything that's supported with our core AOS is going to be supported with Nutanix files as well. With this scale out architecture, we're going to have a hypervisor installed for Nutanix files specifically. We support AHV, which is the Nutanix hypervisor, as well as ESX. With these physical nodes that we have in a given environment, they're going to have internal storage that we're going to use as a part of our storage fabric. These could be all flash nodes, NVMe based nodes, or hybrid nodes, and, and most commonly with Nutanix files, it's going to be some form of hybrid nodes where you have some number of solid state drives and some number of hard disk drives for density. On top of the hypervisor that you choose, we instantiate controllers on every node. We call them controller VMs or CVMs. If you have a four node cluster, like in this example, you have four CVMs. If you had a 16 node cluster, you would have 16 CVMs. Each one of these controllers via the hypervisor specific PCI pass-through take ownership of those internal drives in each one of the nodes. The CVMs communicate with each other and form a distributed storage fabric. And within that, we'll have a single storage pool across all these nodes, whether it's a three node cluster or a 32 node cluster. This is the base that supports Nutanix files. And it's really the same core architecture that we use to support virtual machines or Nutanix volumes as our block service or Nutanix objects as our S3 service and so on. Now, when we start talking about Nutanix files specifically, it becomes an application running on this core platform. It starts with deploying a file server, which is a clustered instance of what we call file server VMs or FSVMs on top of this distributed storage fabric and storage pool. When you create one of these instances, essentially what you're getting is a single namespace. In this case, we, we've created a file server cluster called FS1, and that's going to be the namespace for that file server. We also create a specific storage container for that file server to start to take advantage of some of the services that we have within that distributed storage fabric. For example, with files, we recommend using the native erasure coding as a part of the core platform. Now, once you have a namespace and file servers, because it's a purpose-built application, software defined for this file server use case, this is where we'll then export our SMB based file shares or our NFS based exports. And so those will be instantiated directly from those file server VMs as they consume the storage from the underlying storage pool. Now you can deploy a Nutanix files cluster in different ways. One way is a dedicated cluster. So if I just wanted to use this cluster for one or multiple file servers, I can absolutely dedicate this cluster for that specific purpose. But I can also run it in what we call a mixed mode, where we not only can run the file servers that we need for our SMB and NFS storage, but we can also mix in different virtual machines for various purposes. It could be a co-located application that's taking advantage of those shares and exports. But we could also use other services like Nutanix objects and Nutanix volumes, like I mentioned earlier. So hopefully this gives you a good idea of our base platform for Nutanix files. Look for other videos in our architecture series to learn more. Thanks for watching.